Welcome everybody, thank you for joining us here on the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers, entrepreneurs and coaches lift the lid on life and business so that they can live at their highest value. Each episode we will bring you our favourite founders, CEOs and guest experts to share with you their insights and strategies to expand your wealth consciousness, your spiritual leadership and aligned business strategies. We know that living in alignment with your soul's mission is what fulfills you, and we're here to show you how to achieve this in an energetically aligned way. If you haven't already, be sure to claim your free abundance activation in the Akashic Records. Go to louisahavers.com forward slash gift to unlock your abundance activation today. And if you'd like my support in having aligned success in life and business, then contact me at www.louisahavers.com and let's explore together if it's an aligned match. Get ready to live at your highest value and to expand into your next level of money as you elevate and receive more, you create more for others. Righty ho, let's dive into today's episode. Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. I am so excited to have one of my dear friends here with me today. And introducing you to Ursula Menchez. Huge, huge welcome, Ursula. Thank you so much for, for joining us today. Melissa, thank you for having me and thank you just for this time together. We always we always co-create something fun. So I'm excited to see what comes through and to your listeners all over. I'm excited to be here with you today. Well, let me um, sort of formally welcome you by sharing your your bio so that Great. everybody can understand why I'm so excited and to, the, to, for them to get to know you a little bit. So Ursula is an award winning entrepreneur, sales expert, most motivational speaker and author of five. Yes, five best selling books. Her sixth book, Up Level Now, has just been released and has become a number one bestseller on Amazon. And USA today, Bessa. Oh my goodness, Ursula, that's just phenomenal. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. And not only that, Ursula's, in terms of her journey, Ursula was promoted from account executive to president of an international technical training company in just five years at the age of 27, when the revenue was in the tens of millions. And since then, she has harnessed that experience to help her clients take quantum leaps in their monthly revenue. So this is why everyone needs to listen up today. Ursula specializes in neuro-linguistic programming to help clients 2x or 10x their monthly sales whilst also releasing 10 hours or more hours off their work week. Yes, please. And she is on a mission to help millions of business owners to break through the seven-figure mark. And you can also listen into her weekly podcast, which is Quantum Revenue Expansion, which is absolutely fantastic to hear her client success stories as well. And she works with the most incredible clients, including Aflac, Ebenezer, Keller Williams, Fairview Hospitals, New York Yacht Life, Paychecks, Union Bank, Leclerc Group, and loads more, loads more to name but a, but a few. And especially you can find Ursula traveling somewhere warm with her fabulous husband, Tim, and her beautiful son, Luca. Oh, my word. That was, <laughs> it sounds so much better when you say it. I just want to say that. And Louisa, I want to thank you. I think all of your listeners heard the part about the USA Today bestseller. And Louisa was definitely part of my journey with that. And she, you have been such an instrumental magician, up leveler of many things in my life. So I'm so excited. We've only known each other for a year, but I feel like we're soul sisters. And thank you for just all the support. And for your listeners, everywhere. Like if you haven't hired this woman yet, she's amazing. She will change your life. So thank you, Louisa, for just everything and for having me here. I'm excited to do this today. Oh, me too. Thank you so much, Ursula. Yes, you are a soul sister and I cannot wait until my son goes to um, <laughs> America for a year. So I've got an excuse to come out and, and see you. I can't so wait. I'm home. holding the space. Yeah. The guest room is ready. The bottle of wine is ready. I'm ready for you. I'll be like, Moses, I'm coming to see you. Oh, Ursula, I'm going to see you <laughs> on route. A little stop in the middle here. Yeah, exactly. Can't wait, can't wait. Well, let's let's dive in because um, I really want everybody to, um, I know that they're going to really value our conversation around up-leveling and up-leveling is something that I talk about a lot with, um, you know, not only my clients, but um, our community members as well. And it's the theme of your your book. So tell us a bit about your, your new book, Up Level Now. What what inspired you to write it? Who is it for? Yeah, so good. 
so it says right here, it says right here, it's for you. I've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> it's for everyone who finds the book, right? So, I so I'll, I'll say more about that. I want to say something else really quickly before I, we dive in. So I have a special note, especially um, for those who really understand that up level is not a word. So I do have a disclaimer in the front, you know, up, up clear, up level is not a word. Here's the thing though. Remember when ain't, ain't a word and I ain't going to say it. Maybe that was a thing in America. Like <laughs> it was, we said that here because we weren't allowed to say the word ain't. It wasn't worth. Well, guess what? It's in the Webster dictionary now. It has become a word. It's slang, but it's still a word. And a lot of people, apparently you can use it. There's a proper way to use ain't in a sentence now, which made me laugh. Uh, so someday, right? Someday, those of us who say this over and over again, up level will become a word that we can, a real word. So that's, real that's word. my goal. We, we keep putting it out there. <laughs> we just use the N word. Yeah, I had, so I had people, so I, you know, I knew this was the name of the book. Uh, it just felt right, up level now. And I had a lot of naysayers who were like, it's not a word. Why don't you say level up? And I'm like, it's just level up and up level are not the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I was really clear on that. So, so anyway, so here, and it's, people have been really happy with just sometimes holding this, this idea of up level now close to their hearts, because that's what we all want, right? That's what we're all as business owners, as CEOs, we're striving for that next up level and we feel the calling. So it's the book is for it's really for entrepreneurs who are ready to 2x or 10x their revenue and up level every area of your life because once you get one domino moving that's why on the top in the cover it says make the domino effect work for you and create more peace freedom and joy in your personal and professional life once you kick one domino over it hits the next one and it hits the next one and there's the opportunity to up level a lot of things right it's just like you know, they've done studies when someone starts, when someone quits smoking, for example, mm. they probably start an exercise program too. It's like, here's the next thing. And then the next thing, and before they know it, so many things in their lives have shifted. And in business, when you, you know, when you align, when you hire a coach like Louisa, when you align with excellence, something's going to shift in your business and your life. And you're just naturally going to start to up level. So that's the whole idea. It's like, get that one piece going. And the magical question that's in the book. And this isn't giving too much away because you still have to dive in to find out yeah. how this can all unfold in your life yeah. if you want the surprise. The magical question is to take one area of your life at a time and ask the question, what am I tolerating here? Because so often as entrepreneurs, and I know, you know, Lisa and I are both coaches. We, we work with a lot of CEOs, business owners. And so often we're working with our clients. We find, and we find this for ourselves, that not everyone knows what they want. It's like when you ask the question, what do you want? It's like, oh, like the overwhelm, you know, the, the thousands of thoughts that are like, there's a lot that I want, right? There's a lot. When you ask the question, what are you tolerating in your business right now? Like things pop. Well, not enough money, not enough clients that I really want to work with. I'm not getting enough support. Mm. Uh, by my team, or maybe I don't even have a team. Like I'm tolerating a lot of things. And when you reverse that, you start to see the opposite of that is what I want. I want a two X or I want a 10 X my revenue. I want to work with a team that supports me. I don't want to work 50 hours a week. I want to work 20 hours a week. So, you know, as we have this conversation, you know, some of these things might trigger you and I'd invite you to really lean into what is that? What is it that, that I, that I want, because it is for you too. So many times I think we can think, oh, I'm too, whatever. I'm too old. I'm past this. I've been in my career too long to make the change. I've been circling around 200,000 for so long. Like I can't, and that's not true. Like if you're listening right now, you've been invited to think about your next up level and, and maybe the next step that's in front of you. Oh, that's so good. It's, you're so, I love that reframe of being able to really focus in on finding out what you truly want by looking at what you're tolerating it's being able to then flip it isn't it so that you're not then overwhelmed with all the options and I think a lot of people you may find this too are afraid of making the wrong decision in the yes. where they're going to focus their efforts but what I love about what you've just shared about okay what am I tolerating that helps you to focus in the right place because that's going to give you a really quick win to help you break through to that to that and, and to up level with the new word that yes. we're putting out there it's going to make it into the dictionary <laughs> soon 
Yes, exactly. Love it. I love it. And, you know, one of the things that I know from having worked with you as well, Ursula, is you're incredibly intuitive. You are, that's one of your, one of your gifts. And I know you talk about <laughs> that in the book. I've been in hiding, sorry. Okay. You've been in hiding, but you're, you're coming out now. I am. <laughs> Um, and it's you know one of the it's a great blessing isn't it being able to have that sense of 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 knowing and being able to support your your clients with with that um and as you're taking them on that up leveling journey yeah yes it is and for all of our friends out there who are in hiding I feel you and you know I came from such a traditional business background and I'd always had you know, this intuitive knowing I, you know, with my staff, with my team, and then with CEOs and the, the clients that I work with, and I've worked with for almost 20 years, it's like they would show up in my world. And I would just, I would just know, like I could feel the next level around them. I could feel their up level. Often I sniff books out. Like I, like right when I met you, I was like, oh, <laughs> I see your book flying around. Like, I, I don't know what it is about me and books, but I see everyone's books. I see, um, I just saw someone recently and I was like, oh, I see your, your tarot cards. Like they're they're What's next for you? So, and they're yeah. everyone, it's often, how do you know that? And I wish I'm not, I don't know. And, and sometimes that those abilities are shocking. And what I've heard over and over again, though, from other spiritual leaders and intuitives is to stop it, <laughs> stop hiding, <laughs> stop pretending like it's not a thing. And the truth is like, even our government in the U.S. and probably governments around the world have studied, you know, telepathy, intuition, all the things, right? So it's, you know, we're being called. We're being called to use our gifts right now. And Louise, you've been a big encourager of me stepping out. So thank you for that. Oh, you're so welcome. And yes, you've seen my my book that's coming out as well, which I love <laughs> and uh, supporting me to, to, to get it out there. So thank you. Thank you so much for that as well. And uh, yeah, celebrating, celebrating all the books that have been born from the insights and wisdom <laughs> that you've, you've spotted. For people. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I know you've had an incredible journey, um, you know, a, a, along the way. What is it that when you think about all the CEOs that you work with and all the ones that you're having an influence around the world that perhaps, you know, through through your books, through when they're listening to your podcast that you might not have personally met, what do you wish that all CEOs around, around the planet knew? Yeah, that the time, to, this is going to sound like saying it out loud now, there's a lot of things, but okay. really that the time is now. Mm. This is your time. Like when you, if you're listening to this right now, this is the nudge. Like it's always now. And so often, and I, I said this before, so often we think we've missed our opportunity. We've missed our chance. I should have done this when I was longer and younger. And believe me, these are all things like I've, I'm the queen of beating myself up and comparing and contrasting. And if I've learned anything, it's that the journey has brought you to this moment for a reason and everything that's happened before has prepared you for this now moment. So you're being invited. We're always being invited to expand, to up level, to take that next step. So just like, I wish everyone knew that their heart's desire, their up level, that's, it's just, it's waiting for you. It's waiting for you right now. And we can, like, if I got to hang out with you, I would be able to see it. Louisa would be able to see it if she got to hang, like it's right there. So find a community or a someone, find, you know, get in alignment with those who can help you release your heart's desire because it's right there. It's waiting for you. Oh, yes, it really is. I love that um, because we can put things off, can't we? So and why do we delay? It's like we tolerate the waiting. You were talking yes. about tolerating earlier. It's like we, we tolerate being in that energy of um, toleration. I'm, I'm going, I can't do this because I've got to have that in place, etc. These are just all illusions that we um, tell ourselves, don't we? In the sense yes. of putting off what we want to experience that up level. Whereas what you're saying is actually it's now claim it, move forward. <laughs> and I, and I don't want to say that's easy. I, I want to, let's talk about that for a second. So, and some people meet me now and or they see me, I do a lot of keynote speaking. I've done less than the pandemic, but more, I just was at an event delivering a keynote and I have used to, I should just, I had glossophobia. So let's put it in the past tense, mm. which is the deepest fear of public speaking you could ever have. So go back to the beginning of my business. And 
I, you know, I was doing sales training and sales coaching and I was, I belonged to all these networking groups and everyone would ask me to come and speak. And <laughs> it was like, it was like asking me to step in front of a train. I'm not joking. Like it was that level of fear. I, wow. and when people see me on stage now, they find it hard to believe. I still get a little nervous. It's different. Like I know how to kind of channel that energy. I would have full on panic attacks on stage, full on. If, you, if those of you have had a panic attack, you know. And let's just say I had a very interesting childhood. I know where this came from. I've been in therapy since I was how old, like 15. And God bless all those who have come along my path. And I share that because one, I want to normalize interesting childhoods, not normalize them, but like a lot of us had them, right? And it's normal to have to seek help after that. And without all of that support, there's no way. I mean, that was my first up level. Like my first therapist at 15, that was, she was my first up level. I moved out when I was 15 and this amazing woman showed up in my life and she, she turned my head. It was like, not literally, but figuratively. Like she turned my head and she said, look what else is possible. And it was because of her that I went to St. Olaf College, which in my world, I was only allowed to attend if I was lucky, maybe a, you know, maybe a junior college even though I had straight A's in my belief system, that wasn't even, and I'm not, junior colleges can be amazing. That's not what I'm saying. It's just, I didn't, I didn't know there were even other possibilities. And so when you look back at your journey, you see all the people who opened up these doors. My glossophobia started very young. I was in ninth grade. I couldn't even read a paragraph in front of the class. And for, there was just something in me. There was something in me. Like I knew I was being called. I knew I was being called to speak on stages. I knew that was going to be important in my life. And yet it was the greatest battle. And we find that that often happens, right? That which we're supposed to be doing is the thing we're most afraid of. Yeah. To the point, to the extent that my favorite quote is by Eleanor Roosevelt. She said, you must do the thing you think you cannot do. And that's why, how I've lived my life. So I just want to say, my heart goes out to you. It's, it, this isn't an easy journey. Like if you're an entrepreneur, this is the biggest personal development journey you've ever entered into. And you're going to wonder why you ever said yes. (laughs) And yet, you know, like the flip side is, the blessings, the gifts, the opportunities to grow. Like there's so much, like being an entrepreneur gives us so much space to grow and be creative. So that's the flip side. And, you know, just, I look back and along my path, so many people have shown up to help me expand my ideas about money because we didn't have any, Hmm. or we had very little expand my ideas about possibility, expand my ideas that I could have own a business. Just all of those pieces, uh, have invited me to continue up level. And I'll share, like we were talking about this before the show, the pre-show is always very interesting that, that right now in this moment, I was sharing, I have two decisions on the table. They're pretty big investments in myself and my business. And yeah, I'm scared. And there's a part of me that also knows that this is the next step. This is what I'm being called to. And, and I don't feel like I have a choice, which is an interesting thing. So, so I feel for anyone out there who's like, I feel there, I feel the call of the up level. It's going to cost, it's, there's an investment in time or money or effort. I feel you on that. And on the other side of that is what's, what's waiting for you. It is, isn't it? That's where the, the, the breakthrough is and the, the up level is. And it's all, um, as the part you were saying about the pre-show, I was reflecting as well, that whenever I'm, I'm called to make an investment in myself, um, where, you know, it's going to have a, a growth impact on the business. It just flat out those beliefs that are lurking that are um so it's a gift the i call it the gift of the invitation of, um you know to work with somebody whether it's hiring another team member or working with another coach or investing in some advertising whatever it may be it is it's that moment isn't it of thinking yes. oh yes and then the whatever the beliefs that, that are being flushed out and start chattering in your in your mind is ah oh, okay that's interesting that that's coming through now and that's what's holding <laughs> keeping you in that holding pattern before you go okay do you know what that's just nonsense that's uh, it's not true there's other possibilities around that I'm not going to take that belief for a spin I'm going to leave that one behind as I step into uh, that next level I love that you're like it's like the decision's already been made you know you haven't got a choice you're going to make those investments even though the brain gets noisy well and and especially when it's so And you know the story. I mean, I invested, I made a pretty much a six figure investment in my business last year. And it was immediately a six figure 
client opportunity showed up, right? It was like, but I had to make the decision first before the opportunity could show up. And that's the part <laughs> as entrepreneurs, that I think that is so, so hard to remember sometimes that the up level is waiting, but you got to step in, you got to make the decision, you got to trust. And that's, again, let's be clear. It's not about just throwing money to the wind and being like, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's being very aligned with knowing this is what's next for you and then trusting the unfolding. It is, isn't it? And it, you're reminding me of, um, I was at a, a, a networking event last night where they were talking about what does it take to be an entrepreneur? And one of the ladies was saying that um, entrepreneur and managing risk go hand in hand. And as you were sharing that, I thought, yes, it's about what is our relationship with trust? What is our relationship with risk? Yes. As well as part of that, knowing, like you were saying, that you have to lean and take that action first relationship with trust, risk, faith, knowing that it's going to be returned to you in full effect and more, <laughs> of course. Be being able to take those steps first, we have to lead first, don't we? Um, yes. Rather than being able to kind of go, actually, with absolute certainty, I can see that result. Sometimes you can, but sometimes it is that, that leaning in, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, your business is, you know, it's just phenomenal, um, the impact that you're, you know, creating for your clients and all the results that they get. I absolutely love it. And I know one of the things, one of your secrets, your, your magic is that you set goals differently. What are, <laughs> please reveal to us, Ursula, what are some of the secrets that you teach your clients? Yeah, you're going to love this because it's so simple. I think you've heard me talk about this. Anyway, so when I wrote my second book, it's called One Great Goal. Mm -hmm. And it, it was, I, I think all books are divine downloads. So it, you know, it was a process that I've been teaching for a while. And I thought, you know what, I need to put this in a book. And here's the simplified version of it. When you, when we typically write our goals out, we usually, we number them, right? We just, mm. we've been trained to do that. Like if, if you think back to elementary school, we're taught to kind of number everything, keep it in a certain order. So we usually write goals like that without thinking about it. When you go to write a task list, or at least for some of us, we put little check boxes, right? In front of it, little boxes so you can check it off, right? Or there's, right? So, and that little check box says to the task, you're done. I'm just, I'm going to check you off, right? Mm -hmm. We don't number typically a task list. I don't know why, but we put check marks. So I was, stu I was studying this and I was noticing this and it goes back to, it goes back all the way to my years as a professional salesperson. And my, my friend, Sabrina, who sat right next to me in my cubicle, she had this um, legal pad and I would look over, because I just, she was, she was it. She was the top salesperson and, you know, super stylish. She was a little older than me. She was getting married. Like I just really, she looked up to her. She was my role model. And I was like, Sabrina, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, this is my, this is my list, my goal list. And here she had these little check boxes next to it. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Well, I'm just going to, like, it works for her. So I started to do it. I just kept doing it. I didn't think anything of it. Well, when I went to write one great goal and other, you know, just along the way, I went back and looked at all my journals and like, why did some goals happen faster than others? And what I noticed was that those goals that I'd put a checkbox in front of seemed to happen faster as compared to those that were numbered. And when I thought, when you think about it, logically, your subconscious mind just puts them in an order. Now, the next level of this and by the way, like if someone wants the book, it's on Amazon for like $2.99, I think the Kindle version. So the process is in there if you want to play with it. I'm giving oh you the process, but if you want more. Yeah. When the, the whole piece is to write down your 10 goals, your top 10 business goals, keep business and personal separate, or it gets confusing. Top 10 goals down, the little check boxes in front of them. And then you simply go through an elimination process. You ask yourself, what are my top five? You put little, um, little plus marks in front of them minuses in front of five that you can let go of. And then you work from that top five and you say, if I let go of one more, top three, let go of another one until you have two left, right? Mm -hmm. And the two are either one of two things. Either the two become one because they're the same. That happens a lot. Like 50% like of my clients like, yeah, it's the same. And that's your one great goal. Or you pick between the last two and that's your one great goal. And here's what's super powerful. When you begin to focus on your one great goal, especially with the check marks, what you realize is that when your one great goal is accomplished, everything else on your list is as well. So it's a great hack. And mm -hmm. it also allows you to start to put all of your energy toward the one. And it's like, it's so powerful because the rest start to become, they just get checked off. Mm -hmm. I, have a client, I have a client who 
she buys this book by the case to give it to her clients because she's accomplished like 51 great goals just using this process. So there it is. You can listen back to this. That's the process. $2.99, you can get the book on Kindle. I will tell you though, it, it seems like a small shift and it, it'll, you, your goals just, I don't know. It's like the universe wants to check them off for you. Yeah, I love that. Do you know what? That makes so much sense um, because it is these subtle things. It can be just like a really subtle tweak that can create those quantum leaps. And that makes so much sense to be to psychologically not be numbering them, but to have that checkbox to be able to, so you can just go, yeah, tip done. And the universe doesn't like voids, so it's going to fill it. So if you've got a little square. Oh, that's where you- good. Oh, it's like what about that? come in with the tick quickly yes. that's like right so that oh. I just love that as you were sharing that I was literally covered in goosebumps I was like oh yes this is a absolute game changer oh and it's an I love the add-on that the universe does abhors a vacuum right so it's gonna have it has to check it out oh, that's so good okay I'm gonna give you full credit I'm gonna start talking about that though I'll be quoting you here's where you <laughs> find me so she said this and it's she's you're right you're it's right. It's true, isn't it? I just absolutely love it. Well, we'll put the link to the book as well underneath the the, the podcast so that everyone can easily go and get it because that just feels like yeah, yeah. up level now and the one great goal. Yes. Got well, and like the, this is the power yeah. of co-creation though. I just want to say everyone, you just witnessed the power of co-creation, right? When you take one idea and it becomes even more because we're together. So powerful. Yes. Yes. I love it. And thank you so much for sharing that. Okay. I know that everyone's going to be writing down loads of notes of that. It's a, it's phenomenal. And I know because of having worked with you, the one of your other magics, you've got so much magic, um, but being able to help people shift limiting beliefs, because it is the limiting beliefs that what we create from our identities and the beliefs that we hold. And, you know, these little pesky limiting beliefs, they lurk away, don't they? Happily creating things we don't want to don't want to be experiencing. What's the fastest way to shift a limiting belief that from your perspective that might be keeping someone stuck? Yeah. OK, so full disclaimer, there are some beliefs that have layers and you got to keep going with this. Right. So, so and it can be it can be very helpful to also have someone like Louisa help you with this journey. So there's that, that disclaimer. And at the same, and so this is the quick hack. And I feel like this is for things that are, you just want to make a quick shift and something's been bugging you. Maybe uh, let's say for our clients, a lot of times they want to two X their revenue Hmm. in one month. And when we write it down and we look at it, the belief might be, well, there's just not enough, not enough. There's not enough of my ideal clients out there. Hear that one a lot. So it's it's first uncovering the limiting belief by looking at what you want. And then what do you what do you believe about that? What's the limiting belief about it? Writing the limiting belief down. And then the hack, the power question is to simply ask, what are three, three things that are potentially not true about that limiting belief? And that can kind of make your brain kind of turn upside down. But when when you do it and you kind of push yourself through, you'll be amazed, right? So for example, what's not true? And this is one of the, our favorites with our clients. When I say we, Rebecca Hall, one of the coaches on my team, she loves doing this, this shift because when we look at what's not true, number one, there's 8 billion people on the planet now and counting, right? There's, there's a lot. When we do the research with our clients, what we found is that typically, even if they only served 1% of the available market, they still couldn't deliver the business. And we've done this with clients that are in like super, what they think is like a super niche. And it's like, they couldn't even deliver the business. There's so much there. And, and often the other pieces, many of our clients need to up, you know, they need to up level their prices. They need to increase their prices. Mm-hmm. Like they're, so there, there's something off there. So we usually discover that. So it's even easier to get to their two X and also other people are doing it. This is a big one, right? So the, it's not true because other people in my industry are doing it. They're, they're, they're reaching their goals and beyond. So you start to peel away. And then you ask the question, what would I rather believe? And I, I personally, I love I am statements because your subconscious takes on whatever you say after I am. So if you're really careful, like if you're like, I am a negative word, then you're going to start to believe that. So we want to cancel, cancel. So it could be with the revenue goal, I am a CEO who owns a business with monthly revenues of 40,000 or more per month. And I only work with my ideal clients, something like that, right? So it's present tense. Now, another tip that I was given by Michael Loger, 
he wrote the book called Law of Attraction. He said, if that's a stretch for you, you can say, I am in the process of creating a bit, you know, a business that's forty thousand dollars a month, working only with my ideal clients. So there's a there's a little tweak to that. Now I just learned. I'm going to share this too, and maybe you know about this because this came up recently, and my clients were like, "What?" So <laughs> you, I know you've heard of human design. I'm sure a lot of people have studied human design because one of the questions I get often is, "Should I put a date of completion mm. on my goals?" and Apparently there's something in your human design chart that says whether, you know, this, right. Did we talk about this? I don't even remember where this came up. We have talked about this like a few months ago. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so that's, so someone is like, should I add a date? Check with, can, can they ask you? Would you, do you, (laughs) please, can they ask you? (laughs) Well, it's, so some people manifest really well with, with a date and other people don't, they, they manifest generally rather than specifically if that makes sense and that is within your human design so it's finding out and you can you can download your you know a free human design chart really easily yeah um, find out what yours is and then it's understanding um what what is your 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 type so for me I'm a manifesting generator and I do work really well with specifics and also I manifest really well by being surrounded by other people who are going on at the same you know the same journey as me so I manifest by being in the frequency of others that are uh, in alignment with with that journey does that make sense yes and I I'm a projector (laughs) which I've lived my life as a human or in human design as a manifesting generator when I found out I was a projector I had to go through a little bit it was a little bit of of an identity crisis I'm fine now uh, (laughs) only because I have to be invited and so I think my, my, this is, and I've, I've really been following this. So the two things I was talking about earlier in terms of where I'm being called next, I've been invited to both of them. And that's why I'm paying attention. And when I'm invited, things seem to manifest in relation with others. So interesting. So for, our, for everyone out there that, yes, check out your human design and see, cause it matters. It does matter. I, I love personality profiles. I, I can't get enough of them. It's probably my background in psychology. They, I think they all have value and all teach us different things and being able to give us a lens to understand ourselves through so that you can think about, okay, what is the resistance, for example, that's bubbling up? Is it resistance or actually is it the way I'm currently working because of my human design or whatever the other personality profile has has shown you and therefore then how can I work with it like you're saying you know now you wait to be when you when you're invited to something to pay attention because that's where the flow flow is going to be for you yes thank you yes so So good good. yes I would not have thought you were a projector I I know we haven't had this conversation oh my gosh I we're going to talk about this next time we connect it's it's been so Rebecca Hall who's the master coach on my team is getting certified and she's been she's like getting and you literally could study I think human design for the rest of forever and so she's always giving us the latest of what she what she has discovered but yeah I'm I'm a projector living as living like I thought I was a manifesting generator (laughs) I love it well welcome to embodying your projectorness (laughs) thank you it's been it's been good like now that I get it it's been it's been okay yeah yeah oh I love it I love it thank you so much as like as you know we we could chat for hours and I know you've you've generously shared so much value already but I know you sweetly have got the most incredible free gift for our our listeners as I was like oh that's fantastic Uh, would you like to tell everyone you know a little bit about your free gift and um how they can stay in touch with you Thank you. Thanks for having me. I know we could talk for hours. So, so the gift, I love this gift. I, it's near and dear to my heart because it, it pairs with our um, quantum revenue expansion podcast. So if you listen there, you hear a lot of our clients share their success stories. And I was like, well, I wanted the how to kit. Mm-hmm. And so we created the quantum revenue expansion masterclass, which was also inspired by you, Lisa. Remember I wasn't doing masterclasses yet. So now it's recorded and we cover three areas. One, how to create your quantum revenue container. So if you want to 2X or 10X your revenue, how to create the container in a way that aligns with your subconscious. Then we talk about, all right, now what? Do I need to increase my prices? Do I need to shift my marketing? Like what's the what's the shifts? What are the shifts I can make to get to that 2X or 10X? And then finally, the last part is about collapsing time and getting there faster through you know, your team, how you manage your time, like how you leverage all the the gifts that are around you and we sprinkled in a little 
magic as well. I love this. This is my. Oh, you've got it. Oh, yeah. fantastic. I, it so much. I wanted to bring it out. So those are all the things in the quantum revenue expansion masterclass. You can get it on the website, ursulainc.co, not.com. So ursulainc.co, and I'm sure it'll be in the show notes as well. And it's free. So grab it. Oh, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I really encourage everybody to sign up for that because that's just going to be life changing. Um, and for those of you listening on Spotify, Ursula just was waving her isis one that i had sent her so that's what i was saying oh you've got it <laughs> yes and i love it i keep it on my desk and i point at things so it's been really Wait, powerful magic. love it love it oh thank you so much Ursula. and how can people um keep in touch with you i know that we we have got your social media handles that we can pop below here Where, what's the best one for people to come and find yeah. you on I mean, we're doing, we're, we're putting a lot of content and things on Instagram. So that's a good place to hang out. But we're also on Facebook and LinkedIn. So probably your favorite place where we've got some things that are, that are, we're posting more and more every day and also on YouTube. So we have our YouTube channel um, where all the podcasts live and also other videos that, um, and trainings that I share there for free. Ah, oh, awesome. Awesome. Thank you for having me, Louisa. Thank you so much. Such a blessing and just so delightful getting to know you and just, hanging out with you so thank you again for having me back or having me here i want to come back i guess i think I'm yes. <laughs> i love it oh thank you so much for sharing all your wisdom and love and energy with all our listeners i'm so honored to have you here and i adore you and i trust you with all my heart so mm. i really do encourage everybody to please go and hop over be in ursula's world because your life will completely transform Alrighty, my friends, thank you so much for, for joining us. Looking forward to connecting with you all again soon. Sending you loads and loads of love. Namaste. Thanks for listening to the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. And if you like what you've heard and want to know more, please go to louisahavers.com. We just appreciate you so much. So thank you for listening and hanging out with us. If there's anything that we can do for you, you can email us at louisa at louisahavers.com. Let my team know if you have any ideas for shows that you'd love to hear or topics you want me to talk about. Really looking forward to hearing from you. All right, that is it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for today. Looking forward to connecting with you again. Until next time, namaste.